Hi, I'm Joel Lightcatcher, and I have a very important tennis airless tire tip for you today. Now, I have this tire, and it's mounted on my Falco e-motor hub, and I just mounted it, and I know the wheel is perfectly round and laterally true back and forth, but this tire tends to wobble up and down and sideways a little. Actually, it was a lot when I first started with it. And if I turn it, you can actually hear the hot spot a little. And I've marked right over here. This tire is pulling to my left and I need to straighten it by pulling it to the right. Wobbling can also be caused by a pin that is not well seated into the rim. So if you see a wobble, check for pins not all the way clicked in first. It's not the wheel that's out of true, it's the tire. From the truing arm, we can see it, it's right where it should be. It's not hitting the rim. They're hovering just right. Bring that one in a little bit. And we can see the rim is true, but the tire does wobble. When I started to true this Tannis airless tire, I took the entire wheel and I put it out in the direct sunlight. And I did this side for 30 minutes, then I flipped it and did this side for 30 minutes. Got it very warm, brought it in, and started pulling it to the right and the left to get it much more true. And it did a really good job, but I still have a few parts that are pulling away a little bit. And I've marked them again here with this tape on both sides. And I, what I need to do is I need to pull this this way, but it won't budge right now because it's cold. So I'm going to use my commercial heat gun to warm it up. It may be hard to talk over this, but we'll see what happens. It does get pretty loud. And I'm just going to be warming the tire. Between these marks. getting warmer. Got to get the heat deep into the rubber. Don't want it so hot that it melts, but hot that it's too hot to touch. And of course, I don't want to heat the rim up. Just the, just the tire. It's getting hot. I take about three minutes. Okay, now i got to put the heat gun in cool mode. And I'm going to take this and just pull. Pull in the hole. It is hot. Even the rim is hot. Just kind of roll it like a regular tire. And then I'm going to come back here. And get them rolling it. And... It's still warm. Give it a good roll. Working the epicenter. Checking the marks here on the back where I need to pull. Okay, if I rotate it now, let's see. It's still pulling a little bit, so I've got to work it more. Actually, it's much better already much better. It's only a little bit of the tire now. It's still a bit warm, but it is cooling down very quickly. And as I pull it, I'm holding it and then rolling it through the truing stand. A bit more. Let's go warm it up some more. Might have to do this a few times. The point of rubbing is over on this side now. And I'm just going to hold it like that for a few minutes and you could feel it cooling in my hands. And I'm just kind of holding there while it cools. And check. Mm. 
much much better over here it needs a little now actually let's check let's check this all out right now so these are the marks my hand is right on where the marks are on this wheel and let's hear see it's much quieter the microphone is not picking up as much sound because I was able to shift the wheel a little bit to one side and if I open this up just a little bit and give it a nice rotation you can see it's much much better than it was now again this wheel has not been broken in yet it still needs to be ridden and that will help with making it more true an important question is how hot can I make my tire the answer is if it's too hot to touch it's too hot because you have to be able to hold it and manipulate it and quite frankly I haven't found getting it more hot than you can reasonably and comfortably touch is just not important you don't need to get it so hot that it's going to melt and by the way in my research I had first tried this technique on this tire that I had cut off and I found that even when I heated it very 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 hot possibly too hot to touch it did not melt or deform and was still more malleable but again if it's too hot to touch it's too hot and stop at that point now I do have a disclaimer this is my technique this is the technique that I use myself and is no way uh, endorsed by Tannis or Tannis America so use at your own risk and discretion and I hope that was helpful for you so if you like this video if it did help you in some way fix your problems please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell and liking this video because that helps the google youtube alg algorithms to show other people who are just like you this video